So in today's video, we'll be trying four different TikTok makeup hacks. After being on it for about a week, I probably have seen thousands of videos at this point. Am I ashamed? Am I guilty? And yeah, this is the complete look from the four different hacks that I tried. I kind of tried to incorporate all of them into one look, and this is the final result, which I'm not mad about. If you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. first one that I'm gonna show you guys is probably the most famous one it has like the most view I think and a lot of people also tried this method change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder I usually use the fit me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face and not too much so first we're gonna need a moisturizer and I don't have it right now so I'm gonna grab it real quick so okay I'm using my moisturizer clean and clear I'm running out some translucent powder um, I'm just gonna use this next one not too much I feel like the idea of putting like powder on top of moisturizer right away is just so weird I don't know why this one smells so bad I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna put over some primer. Why don't you say so? And just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing. Okay, foundation next. <gasps> I don't know, man. I think in order for me to really see if there's any difference, I need to complete my makeup look. So I'm gonna just quickly do that. Oh my god, I f***ed up the routine. <gasps> I forgot the primer. It's hard enough work. So moisturizer first. And then powder. Also, she didn't say anything about waiting for the moisturizer to dry off. So I don't know if I'm doing this right, but my brush is definitely wet. Okay, setting spray it is. After the setting spray, take a primer. Okay, primer, primer. So this time I will not forget. Okay, I think my setting spray is dry. I'm gonna add some primer. This is a really old primer, by the way. I think it's like eight years old. I don't think any of you guys have been born when I bought this primer. Oh, oh my god, it's so smooth. What? Okay, so this is the foundation on its own. Um, but I mean, it is smoother. If I look in the mirror a little bit, there's some parts that are like not picking up the products. I think it's just like my relationship with primer is kind of bad. That's why I don't really use them that much. That's why some of the parts on the nose is not really picking up. So it's just kind of like empty there. To see if this actually really works, I'm gonna put on my entire face products and then I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like after putting on some bronzer and highlight and some eyeshadow and kind of like putting the look together. So I don't think it's that bad, you know, but it's kind of just weird when I apply some of the products because it was just so wet because of all the setting spray and moisturizer that you put on top of it. It has a pretty good coverage, I would say. I thought I wasn't gonna like this, but after like putting everything together, I think it's not bad. I mean, the fact that I have big pores is kind of my fault, you know? I don't know why I went with this like pink makeup brow, but here we are. Oh my god. You know what? My ex just texted me right now. What the f So the second hack that I want to try is this freckles hack. So she scraped out some of this and then she dipped like her brush in it and then dip it again in like setting spray and then she just kind of like flicking it. 
So we're gonna try that now. I'm gonna scrape some of my hula bronzer. I've never even tried the other freckles like hacks that people use. Do you guys find it weird that a lot of people really want like fake freckles? Let me know. I have my brush with like hula bronzer here. I don't have the cap for it anymore, so I'm gonna do it here. Okay, now we have some of the setting spray in here. I'm just gonna flick it. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so she like did it like this way. I think I need this to be like a bit more wet. I'm gonna get this all over my camera. I just mm. I feel the spritz of water. I don't know guys. Maybe I need more. Okay, now that we have like a bigger paste. Oh my god! What? Do you guys see this? Whoa! This is like the filter. It works. But I mean, you're not supposed to get it on your mouth. So you can just like use Beauty Blender to kind of blend that. But yeah, this works. Okay, the third one that we're gonna do is this kind of like peachy lip palette. Okay, so she applied some concealers on her mouth. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna use this LA Girl concealer. Just put it on the sides of your mouth. Oh my god, I can already feel like I'm gonna taste it. And then you're gonna start creating a really small shape using a lipstick. And then you're gonna wanna add like a contour using a lip liner. I probably need a darker color. Wait. I don't know. You want to do another layer of concealer? Kind of. Oh, you want a darker color in the middle? Make it juicier. And that's some gloss to top it off using Fenty. Ooh, this does look juicy. So we're done with the face with the freckles and then the lips. Now I'm gonna try this last one that I wanna try. It's this video of this girl just applying concealer on her hair and then adding some eyeshadow colors to look like it's bleached. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair into two sections because that's what the kids do these days. Yeah. Whoa! I mean, this look is kind of like pink on pink, so I'm gonna also do pink on my hair. I'm gonna do Pinwheel Galaxy. This is a palette by Vaucolier. Eight hours later. Okay, I'm gonna finish this real quick and then we'll be right back. So this is the final look from the TikTok makeup hacks that I kind of explored. I don't know guys, I think I kind of like it, low key. Mm. It kind of feels smooth when I applied the foundation even though it was kind of like cold and weird. But I kind of dig it now. And this freckle trick was really easy to do. I feel like if you really want that fake freckle, this would be the easiest way to apply them. For the hair, I would totally try it again on like Halloween or something like that. I mean, I should have covered more over here but I have a lot of hair and it was hard. This lip is really cute, I think. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.